Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Meet Your Candidates in 2022 Politics and Why. I'm Jane Hanson. I ask three questions in three minutes. And today we're talking with Tina Forte, who is, well, going up against a formidable appointment, uh, opponent in um, the Congressional District New York 14, which is East Bronx, North Central Queens. Tina, you're going up against um, AOC. And that's become a very familiar name. Um, and you guys are in complete opposite sides of just about everything. What is it that made you decide to take this candidate on? I've had enough. She does not represent the district. She used District 14 to push her radical left agenda. I've been fighting for the mandates since the mandate started. I've been fighting against them. And I've been a voice for New York for the people, and I decided to jump in and take her on because I call her all out communist because she's not for the people. And the people need a voice and they want a voice. And I just decided to jump in because I'm just a mom and a grandma and a small business owner that's had enough. All right, so you are, um, people call you a long shot Republican opponent, but they also talk about how you are um, more of a conventional Republican. How would you, where do you put yourself in terms of uh, reproductive rights or gun safety, uh, kids and safety for kids in schools? Tell us about your stand on the issues. I am pro-life. I am pro-Second Amendment. I think we need armed security guards in our schools. I think CRT needs to be out of our schools. As a congresswoman, I do hold power of the purse, and I will hold back federal funding. To anyone that defunds our police, I will hold back federal funding if you push CRT in our schools. I will hold everyone accountable on both sides, Republican and Democrat. I will call them out. There have been a lot of talk about how you were in Washington on the infamous day of January 6th. You say you have no regrets about it. Is that still your same stance? I have no regrets about what I did that day. What I did that day was I unveiled the flag of Nancy Pelosi ripping up the Constitution with fangs. Because that's what I see her as, ripping up the Constitution. So no. I do not have any regrets for what I was there for. I was there to get a message, of course, of what is going on in our country. And that's what they are doing is ripping up our constitution. But what about the actions of some of the other people that were there? Do you condone? That I do not condone. I do not condone violence on either side, left or right. I do not condone violence. And if you do- I feel that the message was lost on that day due to the violence. If you do indeed win this seat, what's the first thing you're gonna do in Congress? Well, first, I'm going to ask for term limits because I don't think anybody should make a career out of being a politician. I think we need more regular people to run, people that really see what's going on. I'm fighting for my grandchildren. I have two grandchildren. I adopted my own granddaughter because I am pro-life. And I just feel that when I do win, we need to bring common sense back into Washington. and We need to call out both sides. And we just need God back in our country, God back in our schools and real American values being taught. All right, Tina Forte, running for the Congressional District 14. Thank you so much for joining us today and uh, get out there on the campaign trail. I'm Jane Thank Hansen. Thank you for having me. Thank <laughs> You're you. welcome. I'm Jane Hansen and I'll see you all next time.